Now that we know that one, how we can create the method and return the output to the caller and how to call that also. Uh, let's take some more examples. Let me create a method called, uh, let me create a method to check if a number is even or not. I'll start with public, static, so even or not. A number will be sent as an input. Let's call the method name as is even. So is even. What should be the input? To check a number is even or not, we need a number as input. Now, if num mod 2, if it is equal to 0, then we can consider it as a even. So what do we return? Some of you might think that I should return int or something 0, 1. It's not necessary. We can simply return true. True is of type what? Boolean, right? So we can say return type as Boolean. Else, return false. How do we call it? Again, boolean var equal to is e1, let's say 10, then we can print this one, var. The output of this method is stored in var that has been sent as an input to print ln. Now know this, let me compile and execute once again, I will make the modification. So it is true. Now here, Instead of doing like this, I can actually what? Call like this. This is also possible. Simple. What we are doing? Output of is even method is sent as an input to print ln directly. So what is the output we expect? True, false, true. True, false, true. That's it. Same way, all the remaining methods still now what are the program you have written? There are like around 30 to 45 total number of assignments. I want you to write all those programs and uh, upload the assignments. Uh, let me explain one more example. So how about generating even numbers between from and to? Say I will have a method public. Uh, let me remove all this. We'll just keep one method, public static generate even numbers int from int to. So basically idea is like this, whoever call this method, they will send let's say 10 comma 20. So obviously 10 will come as an input to from, 20 will come as an input to 2. So what I want to do in this method, from 10 to 20 based on whatever the number values they sent. I will, I want to generate the even numbers from 10 to, from to 2. What should be the return type? How we can store the value from 10 to 2, say 10 to 20. That is like six even numbers are there. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. From to, from 10 to 2, right? Six even numbers are there. Now how I can return all the six numbers together so we studied here like returning only one number or one value, isn't it? So for that we need arrays, but till you study arrays, you no need to wait for, but instead of that, you know that when there is something called string, we can simply store the output in string. So let me write the return type of string. First what I will do, I will create a variable string result equal to Simply an empty string will initialize because before you can reuse a variable, you need to initialize it. So I'll write a for loop. Again, see in the sublime, if you want to generate the code automatically, just write for and enter. It will generate the what? For loop for you. Int i equal to from i less than or equal to to i plus plus. Now result, okay, before that, I have to check if the number is even or not, right? If I have to i mod 2 if is equal to 0, then it is even number. What I should do in that case, I have to store it in result. Result equal to result plus, I'll give one space and I say i. So starts from 10, i value is 10, 10 mod 2, yes, concatenated to result. Then i plus plus 11, 11 mod 2, not true, body of if will not execute then i plus plus so 12 
12 mod 2 equal to 0 yes so result which is already having the value 10 is concatenated with 12 so like this it goes on and after the loop is over the output is present in the result so we have to return result now i'll send this as an input to println directly because it's a string clear so like this you have to complete all the assignments which are pending something else i remember i wanted to teach you yeah there's one more thing see in this method i'm doing addition of two numbers some calculation is involved in this method i am doing again some calculation is involved in this method also some calculation is involved but what i am doing in this method i am simply calling them yes or no just like this i can also call add method like i have done earlier so i am calling this only to test because this will be used by other developer they are not going to call this one but i am calling them here only to test whether my method is working properly or not so it makes perfect sense to keep it in a class called test but what about these methods so we'll bring one more level of cohesion first question what you bought is in the method separating the code to related method is called as first level of cohesion now separating the related methods to related class so everything which is involves calculation these three methods i will separate to another class called test another class called calculator I will create one new calculator dot java class calculator now what I'll do here I'll go here this method I'll cut it from here and I will paste here that's it see now program is more neat and clean so like this you need to have a uh, one class called calculator that's where you should write all your methods anything related to calculation now there is one problem here earlier add method was here only i could have called directly now add method is in calculator so suppose if you are let's say um, if you are within this lab i'll tell please come here uh, let's say assume your name is ram ram please come here if you are in the reception then i'll say reception dot ram come here same way the address of this method has changed they are inside calculator now i have to say calculator dot add calculator dot generate even numbers so we compile test dot java then calculator dot java java space test this is the output for this to and for this this is the output we see fine then i look forward to look forward to evaluate your assignments there are 45 assignments know this one all those assignments are borrowed from taken from the past interviews so every assignments which you are going to write are important except first few, for two or three assignments they are like addition of two numbers calculating speed but the remaining all other other assignments are taken what from the past interviews so it is most likely that you might face the same problem same related calculation or logic to test they might give you those assignments so i have to i i would request you to go through all the assignments clearly and complete all of them only then the access to arrays will be given thank you